we uh, we haven't even played this season, and I promise you we're going to talk about this season. <laughs> but let's now we've talked about what happened last summer. Let, let's fast forward for a year here when Connor's twelve point five million dollar kicks in. I was looking at it, and, and you've got a, a number of fairly significant players who are restricted free agents at the end of this season. Um, I'll use my cheat sheet here. So Strom, Great Kajula, Slepeshev, so three of potential top nine forwards. Um, Nurse, Matt, Benning. Matt, M M Nurse and Benning and Brussel are backup goaltender. But, you know, there's... And then we got Taubes coming up. A year up. after yeah, that, yeah. right? So it's, um, you know, three of your top nine forwards, two of your top six defense. And we've won one playoff round, so remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not put the cart before the horse. I think you're not telling me to remember that. You're telling your agents to, uh, to remember that. I guess this is a long-winded way of, of me asking you, if Connor plays center and Leon plays center, and you've got Ryan Nugent Hopkins making six million bucks as, and I understand the, the way this sounds, a third-line center, which he's not, but in that scenario, he, he could be. Is that a luxury that you may not be able to afford? Or? Well, uh, Nuge is, I mean, I, I know that was the fallout or the, that was the, that's the, the speculation, that's the speculation yeah. following uh, signing Connor and, and, and Leon. And um, at the end of the day, you, you, um, you know, you can't put all that money into, into three lines, into three centers. Okay. You can't, it won't work. And um, so, but having said that, you know, we, we've had success with Leon on the wing. Yes. And if you look, and if you look at models and we've looked at them for two lines, you can have that, that Absolutely. money in two lines. So, so I, I think you, I think you have to look at it as your top players, not as your top lines. And normally your top players are on your top lines, but if you can work in pairs, right? You can have three pretty damn good lines. Yeah, although, and I, and I wondered, as I, as I sat and looked at this, and started thinking about it, I'm going, well, what about the Penguins? They just won the Cup, and you've got Crosby on one line, you've got Malkin on another line, and you've got Kessel yep. quite often not playing on one Absolutely. of those two, one of those two lines, and whether it's a center or a winger, I'm not sure it makes that big a difference. But. You, with, with centers, Bob, I mean, they're, 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 tal they're talented, and, they, and they, they play both sides. They play both sides of the... So you can... Move them around, and, and we had that luxury in in, uh, in Boston. We had we had yep. really strong centers. So, um, you know, it's 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 something if we can do, and we'll, we'll keep doing it. And but, you know, we have to we have to be prudent. We have to you know, and you've heard this from a number of GMs. You want to grow your talent. You want to you know, we have to, we have to be prudent on that, and 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 that's that's how we'll move forward. Not that you can do anything about it, but that scenario that we just laid out will probably lead to a lot of Ryan Nugent Hopkins trade uh, rumors yeah, well, over the course of this year. How disruptive can that be to your group, or, or do you just have to say, you know, that's part of the game, let's block it out? I mean, I, I mean, when, when those things get really rampant, um, it's usually because I've talked to somebody about that player, right? Right. So... Um, and that the, and that somebody has leaked my conversation to, to somebody that else. Never happens. Okay, it never happens. So, but I mean, I've 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 talked to Ryan before, and I'll talk to him again. I mean, we we're we're a contending team, and he's on our team, and he's a big part of our team. And and what would your message to him now be? You're not going anywhere. Yeah. This year. Yeah. Or no. Uh, you know what, Bob? I can't yeah. speculate. Yeah, stuff. no, he, he's you a, can't. He's, You're right. You, you know, like it's, it's not fair to any player to say yeah, we're not yeah. going to trade you because, you know, like, like I, I love the fact that people look forward to our rosters and and tell me, not tell me, but they they're, they're armchair quarterbacks yeah. on what we should do. Uh, I mean, that's great for the game. I, I know Jordan didn't like it last year because certainly he was, he was the guy yeah, last year, Eberle, and uh, and uh, and. Nuge, we had him on the World Cup. Uh, he's a very, very good player. We had him on the, the World Cup team. Um, he's a big part of our team, and I'm going to do everything I can to keep him. I'm going to do everything I can to keep our roster going forward, and it can be kept going forward. There's bridge deals. There's a whole yep. lot of ways to skin a cat, and that's that's on us. But right now, um, um, I, I like our roster. We've we've got some injuries we got to 
Sakara and whatnot, but um, you know, let's talk about this year. <laughs> We're, is it a funny? It says right here. Let's talk about this year. Um, what needs to happen this season for you to duplicate or exceed 103 points in your mind? Um, you know, going into last year, uh, we talked about Todd and I talked about. I know the group Todd and the, the players talked about. Um, uh, minimizing the the, the 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 starts and the ends of streaks, specifically losing streaks. Yeah. So, you, you and, and so that's really that's mental. Like oftentimes you're playing well coming out of a losing streak, and it takes you a couple games, okay. right, to get going. So, I think I think we really have to stress that because we got good at it, and and we got some resiliency from the playoffs. So I think we just you know the, the simple there's simple things like that. We've got a good team. And, and let's continue to work on that. Todd's got a whole bag full of stuff, but this is one of the things that that I've talked to him about it. Um, we've got, you know, we got we got the skill and we got the talent to, to certainly get to that number. So, is there is there any other metric aside from points that you might use for to judge success this season, or is it just well, the I mean, results oriented business? You know, and like, yeah, you know, like um, there's there's. Uh, there's even strength performance. There's specialty teams. There's, you know, like we, we we had so much improvement from the year before to last year, two years before to last year, that um, it's almost like like you want to, you know, you want to just continue that improvement. So you don't really want to focus on like I don't like I listen when we at the end of the year we look at all the areas where we think we can improve and. And and uh, we've we've got a list of them, but there's nothing really stands out. I mean, um, you know, there's obviously there's we had some defensive breakdowns in the uh, in the playoffs that resulted in some you know the one Anaheim game, and that sticks in your mind. But let's not overreact, right? So, I think it's about staying the course, and I think it's about you know we we've got some new bodies we got to fit in, um, and it, it's not let's not get too creative here with something that is, is on the right path and, and, and that's part of my message to Todd.